I'm extremely proud to introduce to all of you HoloLens 2. With HoloLens 2, we once again set the high watermark for mixed reality and for intelligence on the edge of computing. And you have been asking us consistently for three things. 47 pixels per degree of sight, we more than doubled our field of view while maintaining 47 pixels per degree of sight on HoloLens. Now, these are the smallest and most power-efficient 2K displays in existence. HoloLens 2 adapts to you. It adapts to your hands and goes beyond the gestures to give you the satisfaction of direct manipulation. HoloLens 2 now also understands precisely where you are looking. Then using the same cameras, we've enabled Windows Hello, iris-based biometric authentication. The optimized HoloLens 2 for long wear and comfort has a universal fit system that works on the broadest and most diverse range of people, whether you wear glasses or not. We reduced the weight of HoloLens 2 by making the front end closure entirely out of carbon fiber. And we also fundamentally changed how that weight is distributed, making you feel as if the device is floating on your head. We more than tripled the comfort of the device. Now, as Alex mentioned, HoloLens 2 is very comfortable. It fits just like a hat. With Windows Hello and RS syndication, the HoloLens 2 is actually signing me in as I put on my device. Look at this. Fully articulated hand tracking. It also recognizes the world. Welcome to my mixed reality home. Look at the way that the holograms are spawning to my hand, almost inviting me to touch it. And in fact, I can just grab this corner to resize it. Or I can rotate it. Or move it. I've got another app here called Vuforia View. Now, it's a little big, so let me just use two hands here to make it smaller, and then rotate it so you can see. I've got a browser over there, but it's kind of far away, and I don't really want to walk over there. So let me just call it over with my voice. Follow me. So let me just open up that Start menu here, and then place the app, and then launch it. So now we're actually exiting my mixed reality home and going into an immersive experience. But notice that that browser that I had actually followed me in. So let me just put it over here, and then we'll get back to it later. We spent years exploring and refining interactions for HoloLens 2. Now, the interaction that really took home the cake, though, was this pinch slider. The way that works is you just pinch it and move it wherever you want. The audio and visual feedback as you grab, move, and then release were all really critical for making this experience feel connected. How do you press buttons on HoloLens 2? Well, you just reach out and press them. So here I can just play a chord or I can play the keys one at a time. HoloLens 2 has eye tracking. So I can just look over to this browser here and look at the bottom of the screen to scroll it, and then send my message. Start dictation. The hummingbird looks great, exclamation mark. Send. Rather than you, adapting to the device, HoloLens 2 adapts to you. And today, I am proud to announce that with HoloLens 2, we will launch with a suite of solutions from Microsoft and a so suite of solutions from our amazing industry partners. And today, we are launching a brand new Dynamics 365 solution for mixed reality, Dynamics 365 Guides. Guides will help workers get up to speed faster on difficult tasks by placing step-by-step -step instructions right where the work is happening. And the HoloLens lets us work together as if we were standing next to each other face to face. Hi, Jenna. Hi, Anand. Hey, everyone. It's great to be here on stage holographically. I can see your lifelike avatar, which we generate in seconds from a 2D photo. And we can walk around the stage with spatial audio and use this whole space around us to collaborate as if we're all here together in the same room. And today? I am proud to announce the HoloLens Customization Program, a program that will allow our par partners to customize HoloLens 2 to meet all of their specific needs. This is the first HoloLens 2 enabled solution in the world for frontline workers in environments requiring certified hard hat safety or personal protection equipment. Today, I'm excited to announce that we are enabling developers to combine the power of HoloLens with the power of Azure by introducing a suite of mixed reality services. 
The first service we are announcing is Spatial Anchors, a fully cross-platform service that supports AR Kit, AR Core, and of course, HoloLens, a world where holograms can be shared with others across different devices in different form factors. The second service we're announcing today is remote rendering. This service will enable developers to use the power of Azure to directly stream high polygon content with no decimation to HoloLens. Maria can simply take out her iPad and launch Vuforia View. She can participate in the mixed reality experience, making it far more interactive and collaborative. We want the future to be open. Today, Microsoft is making durable commitments on certain core principles across the openness of our mixed reality ecosystem. We believe in an open App Store model. Developers will have the freedom to create their own stores. We believe in an open web browsing model. And today, I am proud to announce that Firefox will be joining us with a web browsing experience native on HoloLens. We believe in an open API surface area and driver model so that anyone can innovate within our headsets from the sensors that are being used to the differentiated experiences that are being created. Founder and CEO of Epic, Tim Sweeney. So we're starting with the Unreal Engine. HoloLens support is up and running now and coming to all developers in May. In the years to come, Epic will support HoloLens in all of our endeavors. I'm excited to announce that starting today, you can pre-order HoloLens 2. Bundles start at just $125 per month. Or pre-order the standalone HoloLens 2 Enterprise Edition. What was $5,000 is now $3,500. I leave you with one last video.